Hey YouTubers, it's Dansky. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at art boards in Adobe Photoshop. Now, if you're familiar with Illustrator, you'll know that Illustrator already has art boards and it's effectively, you can have one document and you can have different canvases or art boards as they're called within the same document. Okay, so if you're not familiar with how it works in Illustrator, then I'm gonna show you how it works in Photoshop. Okay, so let's take a look. We've got Photoshop open and we're going to go to File, New, and from the document type, we're going to select Artboard. And it has a bunch of presets here that you can use, but for this one, I'm going to create a standard banner size. So let's say 300 pixels wide by 250 high. 72 DPI is fine. And we're going to select Working RGB for the color profile and click OK. And as you'll see here, we've got Artboard 1 and I can go over to my layers palette, just double click on artboard one, and I can give that a name. So we'll call it 300 by 250, just to remember. Then what I can do is we can actually start creating our artwork. So the same as, as always, you have your layers over here on the right, and let's try and design something that doesn't look too horrendous. So your text here. This is probably going to be the worst example of design ever, but it's just for just uh, for illustrative purposes. Okay. So something like this. And then we're just going to add a call to action. So we'll call that click me. And we're just going to draw a box around it. Oh, it's a really, really interesting color. Let's go with yellow. And we'll just drag that underneath. And make our text blue. So you don't have to follow along with this step. It's just really to illustrate the benefit of having artboards within the same file. So imagine this is your design. It's absolutely fantastic. You're really happy with it. Just try and, try and pretend, bear with me. Okay, and now what we need to do is we need to take this finished design and apply it to some different sizes. So what we can do is we can go over to here and make sure we've got our artboard selected at the top. We can right click and click duplicate artboard. And the next one we're gonna create is 160 wide by 600. Okay, so at the moment, we've, that's just the name we've given it. It's duplicated it in this place. So what we can do is go up to here and just hold down and we'll get the artboard tool. Okay, and if we click where the title is and just hold shift, we can drag our second artboard across. And now we want to actually resize it as well. So if we go up to the top here, again, you've got the presets in the list. And you can go in here and type width of 160 and a height of 600. And that will affect the artboard. And then what we need to do is just make sure we click on our layers and just drag this color. So it fills that space. And then just reposition our layers. Obviously this design doesn't actually lend itself very well to filling the space, but Hopefully you've got a much more interesting design. Okay, but something like that. And you have your call to action at the bottom. Okay, and you can do this for as many artboards as you need. So if you were doing a set of banners for Google, for example, you could include four, five, six, seven, eight different sizes all within one file. And it's just easier than having lots of separate files. And when you're designing, you can modify one design and then you can easily create the other sizes or make amendments with it all on screen at once. Okay, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time.